Here they are still blasting this section as of the 2nd of August. Below that we see the first signs of structural concrete being poured. The green indicating the epoxy coated corrosion resistant rebar inside the wooden form blocks. And here's a closer look at that. The structural concrete form on top of the leveling concrete will give you an idea of how thick the structural portion of this spillway will be. Here you can see the vertical anchor bolts or rock bolts or rebar that are going to tie the entire structural portion of the spillway into the leveling concrete and bedrock below. Preventing it from slipping or sliding. And of course there will be expansion joints between each of these form blocks and it will be interesting to see how that's designed. So it looks like they'll do the left and right sides in this section leaving a road access road down the middle and finish up the middle section last. Now we're coming around to the big deep plunge pool and it looks like they still got a long way to go to fill that up. Now it looks like they've got a dirt road cut into the very deepest part of the deep plunge pool which they needed access for demolition but they're going to have to clean all that up for the dental work to get a good clean bite on the bedrock below. It's hard to tell from the DWR footage exactly where the RCC is being placed, but I think we're looking at a combination of leveling concrete and RCC here in the plunge pool. And definitely down here, the darker colored concrete appears to be RCC. And down here in the lower spillway, you can see structural concrete being formed up on top of the leveling concrete, with more rebar and forms being prefabricated on the side to be placed into the spillway. So the 7th of August makes exactly six months since the, since the spillway first broke back in February, February 7th, with about 85 days left until the beginning of November. We'll finish this update up with some overly dramatic DWR footage of roller compacted concrete going on at night. The roller compacted concrete coming from the RCC plant on site being dumped by the dump truck load into position and graded to the desired lift height and then compacted with the rollers. There, there's the roller in action now. And you see the kind of courthouse looking lights on top of the bulldozer blade there. That works with the uh, GPS to get the lifts at the just right elevation. And you can see the surveyors out there painting the lifts right on the side of the bedrock. Once this operation gets rolling, it's just got to keep going so that each lift bonds to the previous. <laughs> 